Hey <laughs> Muffin here. Subscriber request for Yagaru for seven SU-152s. So we're gonna go and try this out and just kind of see what this is like. I'm actually fairly confident the Yagaru can actually do a pretty good job here. However, the thing that makes me a little nervous I didn't quite check before going into this was uh, the penetration of the SU's heat round. Um, to see like what that could exactly penetrate. And I think I could probably take these things out in a, oh, I was hoping that HE round, it looks like quite a bit of even the side of that. Oh, it looks like we're taking hits. Side of that wasn't even penetrable quite uh, with my HE round. So I might have to switch to AP here. Let's just see what we can do. Try to quickly get around and surprise some of these guys. Did a good amount of damage, but unfortunately no kills. Oh, oh turn, 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 bounce. Oh, looks like we're doing okay. Let's get some shots off. Ooh, took a hard one right in the side. And, oh, wow. Whoa, <laughs> right through the gun mantlet. That is thick. Okay, oh shoot. All right, we're in a bit of trouble here. Trying to get in, that did not work out very well. So clearly, <laughs> a 1 verse 7 is not uh, very ideal. Even if being backed in the corner, I think I would have just got HE to death. So now we're going to try out two Yagaroos to see if we can do this. Let's see if we have a little bit more luck. I think we can do this. Let's try to see if we can get ourselves... <laughs> somewhat in a corner or just maybe kind of up around in this hill i'm hoping i can uh if some of them do go town we can get some great uh view range down into the valley area getting some shots off um and using that upper ground advantage where it would take the su's uh it'd be a lot slower for them to climb the hill and looks like they might be behind us they just just detected oh okay looks like maybe some of them are coming up and this is not good looks like they might have spotted us let me see if i can maybe get some eyes on any su's coming up over here Be okay here we go excellent one shot into an su i think we can hold this if one Man, that does some serious damage. Over 300 HP. Just, <laughs> just drained. Oh shoot, come on, come on, come on. Okay, beautiful. Okay, not as much damage, but man, that HE round definitely does some good amount of damage. See if we can get him. Oh, just barely. All right, we took out one SU-152. Let's see if we can hopefully get some others. Man, really taking some hits here. <laughs> some crazy bounces, a lot of HE. And wow, the SU is quite a lethal tank. Even taking on two tier uh, tens. Wow. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't work out very well against two. We are absolutely getting worked. I would say one of the disadvantages of the Yagaru against the, I guess, so many SU-152s is they do have much better maneuverability. <laughs> I was actually hoping to get to that far right corner uh, before spotting them, but unfortunately, they actually pr played a pretty good game. So we're just going to say heck with it. Let's just do four and just see what happens and see if this is much of a challenge. If this ends up being too easy, we're going to take it down to three and just see how that goes. So going into four, once again, I want to thank all my subscribers um, who had helped me with this video. Uh, I do these challenge vids, historical recreations, ultimate showdowns um, ever so often, actually quite a bit. So if you're ever interested in joining, um, join the Discord server, uh, or I'm on the NA server around 8 p.m. Mountain Time is when I typically do these. So 
just trying to see okay so looks like we spotted one SU looks like we got a hit off I'm gonna try to aggressively go around here because I think we have enough to really beautiful so got rid of one SU six left and <laughs> Man, that HE round just really, really does some uh, some decent damage. So the Yagaroos are raining down upon the SUs. Hopefully we can now have our turn of striking terror into the SUs. Beautiful shot. Looks like he might be trying to run away, which is honestly very smart of him. So, okay, looks like SUs are down too, so... And I think we're actually doing fair... Ooh, we actually... Okay, I, no, we're actually still doing pretty good. So, and... All right, well, honestly, I would have been... <laughs> I would have been very, very surprised if the SU-152s would have lost this. Um, just because, like, I mean, going against four tier 10s against seven tier 7s, I would have been like, wow, this is just... Terrible. I would have just <laughs> like such a bad player if um, couldn't even win against uh, seven SUs with four uh, Yagaroos. But honestly, I think we'll have to see if we can do three now. Just okay. So this one once again was just ah, what the heck. Let's just throw in four in here total and just see what would happen. And honestly, not too bad. We actually uh, were able to put up... Um, the, the SUs were able to put up a good fight. But now it is time to do three and just see what happens here. So going in, going to go ahead and push town here. There's actually an excellent spot up here in this... Uh, the steps of the this tower that you can climb up to and get pretty good view range of uh, your surroundings. And hopefully we can keep the SUs at distance. The Agpanzer E100 is more accurate than the SU, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage. And then... There's also a lot of <laughs> like just stuff laying around like boxes and walls and things and like that kind of in the way, which if the SU is going to use a heat or HE round, that's not going to be able to quite go through that. But our AP shells will be able to go through that. So, okay, so this is kind of the area that I was talking about. I'm trying to see if we can get any eyes on the SUs. We're all trying to stick together here because that's going to be probably our best form of survival. Let's just see what we can do here. So far, nobody's spotted. So I'm wondering if they did... Oh, there's, another, there's one right there. Beautiful and... Nice, so we got rid of one of them. So there's six SUs left. So far off to an excellent start. Oh, and now it looks like they're starting to come on in here. Beautiful shot, oh, nice. Just barely missed that one. Looks like we're able to block a shot. Try to see if we can go in and take aim. Okay, looks like we're starting to get hit. Beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> and the SUs are down two. All right, so just took a hit there. Took another one. See if we can just get another shot in here. Just try to keep them at bay. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, wow. What a bounce. SU. Uh, bounces around from a Yagaroo. <laughs> and the penetration from the Yagaroo is uh, incredible. So, wow, that was... Okay, this is beautiful. That's exactly what I was talking about. 
a lot of stuff in the way, kind of prohibiting the SUs from being able to shoot through with an HE or heat round. So this actually looks like we were able to, things are looking pretty good. We haven't lost one yet. And so we're gonna go ahead and close in on the SUs, but honestly, really interesting, kind of a fun challenge. Um, we, we had some other games and just wanted to throw these ones in. We did a lot of different things in terms of either sitting in the back or a corner. And honestly, like we just could not do this with two Yagaroos against seven SU-152s. <laughs> it seemed like the only way to do it was with uh, a minimum of three. So anyway, hopefully this was entertaining. This is the muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.